Hi ladies, it's Gina with Rise and Abide Wellness. Thanks for joining me. I'm here to encourage you in your walk with Christ and in your wellness. And today I wanted to talk about testing our work for a closer walk with Jesus. Um, and this comes out of my own journey with weariness recently and then taking the time to examine what was really going on in my life and looking at my heart and my actions and the Lord walking me through that and drawing me closer to him through that process. So that's where it comes out of. Last week we looked at Galatians chapter 6 verses 7 through 10 where we talked about sowing to the spirit versus the flesh. We talked about not growing weary and doing good because in due season we will reap if we do not give up and that God is the one that produces that fruit. Our part is to not give up. Um, so I want to take us to the passage before that and I'll start by reading verses uh, three through five. They say this, if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor for each will have to bear his own load. And so I want to look at a uh, first point, point being that we can be deceived. <laughs> we can be deceived into thinking that we are something that we are not. We can think that we are doing the right thing, maybe moving in the right direction, but we're deceiving ourselves and maybe we're actually sowing to the flesh rather than the spirit. And that's where being in the body of the of Christ is so helpful because we have brothers and sisters who help us to see those things that we don't see or we don't recognize, right? And gosh, my husband was such a great example of that this past week. He was helping me to kind of break down uh, what I was going through and help me see, well, I was getting off track in this one area and um, graciously, gently bringing me back on track with the Lord. Uh, and then we see this call to test our own work, to test our ways. And that word there is to test, examine, to scrutinize, to see if something is genuine or not. And so taking time to pause and reflect can help us examine and scrutinize and see if we are off base in something, if we are weary because we're just working too hard, if we're weary because we're sowing to the flesh instead of to the spirit and it's exhausting to uh, strive when um, it's not the Lord's will for us, right? And so those are things that we want to take time to pay attention to. Are we undergoing selfish ambition or are we seeking the Lord and um, resting in him? So, and then this, this will help us determine our next steps. So in my process, I realized, oh, like I'm off base here. I need to repent. I need to come back to trusting the Lord because I'm trusting in myself and I'm trusting in the ways of the world. And so sometimes there's repentance that needs to take place coming back. Sometimes it's that we just need rest, right? And what does Jesus say? Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That We are called to take his yoke upon ourselves because his yoke is easy, his burden is light, and he's the one that gives rest for our souls. And, and so our steps will be determined once we are able to examine in light of scripture what our actions are and what they're revealing about our heart and maybe what we're trusting and all of those things. And then we know how to move forward. And either way, it's drawing us closer to Jesus because he is the answer, right? If we are weary, it's him who gives us rest. If we have sinned, it is him who is the mediator, who is our advocate before the Father, who draws us back into fellowship um, by cleansing us from our sin. He's our forgiveness um, if we need wisdom. He is our wisdom. He, he's everything. Maybe it's just that we're short-sighted. We, we've lost sight of eternity and we're, we're growing weary because uh, we're not looking far enough ahead. And so again, he calls us to look heavenward and remember that we're not home yet. Our home is in heaven with him and he calls us to set our minds on things above again. So in all of these things, we can grow closer to the Lord, but we also need to be able to step back, test our work, see where we're at, and then know how to proceed. And so 
I went ahead and made us some journal questions because sometimes it's good to have questions written down to help us through this process. And so um, those will be in my email this week. And if you uh, don't aren't on the list and want to join, please sign up through my website um, or just send me an email through my contact page there. And I'd be happy to send those journal questions to you. And then um, if this benefits your walk, I would love to hear from you in that. And we can apply this to our spiritual life, but also to our wellness, our physical um, activity, what, how we're exercising or how we're eating and nourishing our, our bodies. And so feel free to apply those journal questions in both um, areas of your life. And so if you are uh, encouraged by this, I'd be so happy if you could share it with someone or um, just point people to our website and invite them to join our workouts for Christian women where we set our minds on Christ and then move our bodies as stewardship to the glory of God. And so thank you so much. I pray that you have a blessed rest of your day, whatever you're doing. May you go forth abiding in Jesus Christ, doing all things to the glory of God. And I hope you'll check back in with me again soon.